Decision time could be coming soon for tens of thousands of local property owners who signed oil and net gas leases years ago. Many of them are expiring. Now, some of those properties still have active wells on them, but many more were never developed. 27 First News reporter Jared Ricciuti tells us owners do have rights, but many don't understand them. It's been four years since Bob Elston signed his lease with Hillcore Energy for the mineral rights on his acre of land in New Middletown. He's not sure what he'll do when the agreement expires next summer. I guess I'm going through the thought process. I'm leaning heavily towards, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll renew if, uh, if I can renegotiate. He tells me he started looking at the lease recently to see just what his rights are. There's really not much from the lease that you get a clue about what's going to happen in five years. It turns out Bob's not alone. We were getting lots of calls from folks concerned about this issue. Attorney Alan Wenger has been specializing in oil and gas related property issues the last five or six years, ever since landmen from the various drilling companies flooded into the valley looking to lease as much acreage as they could. He says thousands of those agreements are starting to expire on properties that were never drilled, telling me many should run out on their own but they don't leap out of the recording books on their own at the courthouse, so they remain a lien on people's, on, on farms and properties. Wenger says while state law requires drilling companies to release leases as they expire, it's not unusual for those agreements to be left dormant until mineral prices or demand start rising again. And they would have a sort of a, an advantage then by having a, an existing lease that the owner has to do something to get rid of. Wenger says there are steps landowners can use to take back their mineral rights, starting with reading the actual language in their leases and requesting drilling companies follow the law. But he says you may end up needing the help of a lawyer to get through it all. Jerry Ricciuti, WKBN 27 First News.